We all have Filipino culture and traditions that we grew up with. Whether they are daily habits, celebrations, beliefs, food, arts, skills, and the like. A perfect way and opportunity to preserve our culture and tradition is to continue practicing them in our homes and by sharing them to the people we meet daily in different places. This is what our group would like to share about in our vlog. Pero una-una sa lahat, allow us to introduce ourselves. Hi, my name is Hannah. I'm John. I'm Chelsea. And I'm Miko. I hope na through this vlog ay maging interesado kayo sa pag-protect and pag-preserve ng indigenous art natin dito sa Pilipinas. Lalo na sa ngayong panahon na mas pinaprioritize natin yung product ng ibang bansa kaysa sa sariling product natin. Hindi na magpapaligoy-ligoy pa. Let's start the video. When it comes to indigenous art, anong pumapasok sa isipan ninyo? One thing for sure is that it isn't contemporary. Traditional art. Itong mga art na to ay nagpapahita na culture as well as yung history nila. Ang indigenous art ay isang art na ginagawa ng mga indigenous people o ethnic group. Sila ay naninirahan sa isang particular na lugar, usually sa mga bundok at malayo sa city. Our world is moving towards modernization and globalization. It's a good thing. Pero paano naman yung mga ginagawa natin na tradisyonal? Specifically yung indigenous art. Nawawala at nakakalimutan na ito ng mga tao kasi mas pinapansin nila yung kung ano yung bago or popular sa ibang bansa. Then the question is, paano nga ba natin mapapreserve at mapopromote ang ating indigenous art? Paano nga ba? As a student, there are several ways in which we can help in promoting and preserving traditional cultures in our country. We could do so by simply being interested in learning about it. By allowing ourselves to be influenced with the new culture presented to us, we must truly show respect and be open-minded about it. Promoting it on social media is one thing we can do. It's easy to let anyone view our work given na ang social media ay accessible to thousands of people throughout the Philippines. May inform natin ang mga tao about indigenous traditional art and we can also educate them about it. Other than that, maaanilyahan din natin sila na tumulong sa pag-preserve at pag-suporta nito. We would really benefit if people would help in spreading the word by simply watching or reading our contents. Second is magkakondak tayo ng online Zoom meeting. May inform at madidiscuss natin yung importance ng indigenous art at paano ito nakaka-apekto sa bansa natin. mag invite tayo ng mga professional. Pwede itong maging teacher or mga tao na may alam dito. Para naman mas lalo pang matuto yung mga nakikinig at madami silang malalaman. Sa online Zoom meeting na ito, yung goal natin is to make indigenous art well-known and well-used. We could also try and make an exhibit. We'll display their art and make other people know what are indigenous art and we'll be able to support them through this. Fourth would be supporting them by purchasing their products. By buying their product, it would be a great help to them to continue what they're doing and we will be able to support them financially and be able to promote it to other people. Finally, sharing it with others. I think this is the most important one among the four. By simply sharing our knowledge with people, we'll be able to promote their culture and their art. Just like our subject, which is Sipar. Honestly, I wouldn't know that we have this in our country if it hadn't been taught to me. It shows how important sharing your knowledge is to people. I'm now aware of it and appreciate the things that our fellow Filipinos do to help build our identity as Filipinos. Napag-desisyon na namin na gumawa ng simpleng weave using paper bilang isang example kung paano natin ito mape-preserve by practicing it. 
With that being said, let's try and make a simple weaving using paper. Guys, tingin kayo. Tapos kaway. Kaway. One, two, three, go. Hi guys! So, simulan na natin ang pag-paper wheel. <laughs> so, ang kailangan natin guys ay syempre, band paper. Tapos yung band paper, ihati natin sa sakit na. Palang twice po yung hati. Hindi ko hati. <laughs> Gunteng? <laughs> Laging ihanda ang mga gamit bago magsimula para hindi kayo puro tayo. Kung gusto niya, roller. Hi nako, Miko at Jom. Mga hindi prepared. Jom, si Chelsea nasa gupit na ikaw nasa lines pa rin. Anyway, kapag na-fold nyo na ang papel sa gitna, gumawa kayo ng 1 half inch na margin. And then, sa mismong paper, gumawa kayo ng horizontal lines na may 1 inch height distance, kagaya ng pinapakita nila. Tapos, ikat nyo yung lines, ha? So, ayan guys, i-assemble na po natin ang ating woven paper. Dahil si Ana ang unang natapos, siya ang gagawin nating model. Pagkatapos nyo sa magiging background natin, gumawa naman kayo ng colored paper strips na may width na 1 inch. Mostly 7 na strips okay na. Pero kung sa tingin nyo ay kulang pa, okay lang gumawa ng extra. And then, kagaya ng ginagawa ng ating model, gumawa kayo ng kahit anong pattern na light nyo. Sa creativity natin sa pattern, makikita ang true essence of weaving. Tara! Tapos na tayo sa ating woven paper. Ang gaganda, di ba? Anong pattern kaya yung ginawa ni Joe? Anyway, babay na! Thank you for watching! Ang indigenous art ay... We all have feeling big culture. I know that! We all have feeling pain. <laughs> Nawawala at nakakailimutan. Nakakailimutan. Napag-desisyon na namin na gumawa ng simpleng wave at ang ingay ng screen.